All right, here's an update the, on the uh, plane. Nothing really to report. The back of the plane, ignore that uh, cowling there that belongs to this uh, drifter that's being uh, built here at Stolid Aircraft. There's another Super Stoll build in the back there with the uh, 915. And another Super Stoll here for some updates. Uh, here's my update. I'm doing a lot of uh, wiring. This is uh, where I've spent most of most of my time here at the workstation uh, following this wiring diagram that I made in draw IO, super easy to do. And uh, it sure makes it a lot easier having it all planned out, you know, being able to quick reference this, what pins go to what, what color wire I'm gonna use, what gauge wire I'm gonna use, and just uh, kind of planning the routes of things, seeing uh, what connects to what. Uh, especially helpful in areas like the headset jacks, where there's a lot of little intricate connections like integrating the Bose Limo connector. I've made a couple changes since uh, I printed this, like the push to talk was a home run from the GTR comm radio and to the ground. And I've updated in the computer here showing the push to talk utilizing a, th a three strand uh, mic cable back to the GTR 200 and I'm just going to use the ground and uh, and use one of the strands for a push to talk and uh, it'll also enable a handheld mic to be used by utilizing the tip pin as your uh, push to talk signal wire. Speaking of, here's the right seat um, plugs. Just made these today with the limo. Uh, not hard, not easy, it's just a, you know, a lot of the intricate wires. A lot of, uh, I really gotta double check and make sure everything's connected right. And I've been uh, labeling everything with uh, heat shrink uh, labels, which is super easy to do. With the label maker, spent a lot of time with this over the last few days because <laughs> uh, everything on the aircraft so far has everything labeled, which will make troubleshooting and up, up, updating and everything else a lot easier. I don't know how you do without it, but uh, so back up to the plane. Here's uh, signal wires, or power wires coming back from the rear of the plane. Battery cables. There's the signal wires on that side, and uh, still figuring out how I'm going to route everything up to the. Uh, up to the uh, instrument area. Thinking about the fuel system and how all of his lines are gonna go, which uh, I'm starting to mock up here. The uh, header tank will mount right there. Fuel lines will come up and the shutoff valve and then back here to the fuel pumps. Fuel pressure sensor, it'll be a bypass around this filter and a, uh, a link back to the return line from the 915 with a small orifice there for pressure relief for the pumps and then uh, helps get rid of air out of your system and um, parking brake there's some uh, headset jacks mocked up here this is um, ABS plastic super easy to work with super light and an uh, added bonus of uh, isolating my jacks from the uh, airframe. So no ground loop issues with ABS. <laughs> and here's the panel. There'll be a dimmer here. There's the comm radio GTR 200B. Here's a heated seat control. Yep, super easy to do, super lightweight. It's really just this relay and some really light uh, like cloths that you put in your seats that can heat up. And, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be nice, even in the summer. <laughs> uh, prop control, and there's the G3X, the G5 switches. And there's trim, and yeah. Here's all the Garmin wiring. 
They're pretty straightforward. I've been using the uh, solder sleeves. This is a CAN node. So CAN comes in, goes into the device, then loops back out and goes to another device with all the shield drains. There'll be a uh, ring terminal here onto the shield. And here's the pins. And here's a uh, Lexan uh, firewall mock-up. Makes it a lot easier when you can see what's behind it and where you can mount things. So Chris mocked this up on uh, his airframe with uh, his 915. I'm pretty much going to follow it. Here's uh, signal wires coming in from the uh, from the fuselage up here to the uh, vertical power and up to all the Garmin connectors. There's the uh, engine ECU, start power relay, vertical power power system. And I've used blue for all the switch wires. They're all pretty much all signal grounds. And uh, they'll go up here to the vertical power and to the engine. Lane light, LEDs, start power. And you see these uh, rounded rectangular uh, rectangles here. Those are uh, holes in the panel to reveal the back of these uh, labels, which is a two color acrylic. It's a white acrylic with a black surface. And you laser etch away the black and it reveals the white and you can backlight it. Uh, works uh, super nice and uh, super sharp, looks really good. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. That's uh, that's how she sits today.